In the metals quadrant, copper had a small bounce from 21 month lows. Today, the low 3.1315 was the lowest level we've seen since November of 2020. So that's down 2.49% from yesterday's settlement on the lows, but then we had a bounce. We had a decent bounce at first, 2.06% higher at three spot 27.75, but on the close, you probably wanna call it a small bounce up about eight tenths of 1%. Now, despite being up today, copper completed its sixth consecutive down week, over 8% this week lower, and closed below the 200 week moving average. So we'll have to see if it bounces back above it next week or not. The dollar turned today, the dollar fell against the Euro, the Aussie dollar, the Canadian dollar, the yen, the British pound fell against all the majors today. So that also helped with that sort of typical inverse relationship between the dollar and commodities and the dollar and industrial metals in general. Talking about copper, that's an industrial metal. So that dollar turning gave it a little bit more boost. And then also we all know at this point that China historically, at least recent history, biggest smelter and purchaser of copper in the global market and their GDP fell into negative territory. Now, that's the quarter over quarter figure. It was expected to be negative, but it was only expected to be negative one and change, and it was negative over 2%. So that's a pretty big job, drop in the economic strength or economic growth, I should say, for the largest copper consumer. So that's likely gonna be sort of underlying weakness that go up, goes on. It's probably why we were down 2.5% in the morning prior to the dollar move, which might have buoyed copper a little bit.